Today we'll be making Chinese abaca seeds or swan pan zi. You want to pause here to look at the ingredients and the preparation methods. So today we'll be making Chinese abaca seeds or in Mandarin they call it swan pan zi. For the abaca seeds itself, we'll need a yam bean. We will have to skin and slice this and steam to cook it and add tapioca starch to it to make the swan pan zi or the abaca seeds. Once we do that and boil it, we can then drain it and fry it with some other ingredients. So for the condiments for frying the abaca seeds, we'll have 3 cloves of garlic, a cm and a half of carrot, a small slice of ginger, a small or medium sized onion which we'll chop up, some Chinese mushrooms, you can use shiitake or wutsia, uh, which we will hydrate and chop into small pieces, some dried shrimp, which we again will hydrate and chop into pieces, some uh, green or spring onions, which we will uh, basically add in the end for garnishing, salt and pepper. So what we'll do right now is we will skin this, chop into small pieces and steam the yam bean. So now I've cut up the yam bean into small chunks, uh, which makes the steaming much faster. Um, we don't want to add too much of liquid into this. We want it to be as dry as possible after we cook it. And I've chopped up the garlic, carrot, ginger and onions, and also the dried shrimp and the woodsia mushroom. So we'll go cook this first. If you don't have a steamer, just add some water and boil this, just not to add too much of liquid to the yam bean. So let's go cook it right now. So our yam bean has been steaming for a little while. As you can see, it's uh, falling apart at the moment. So this is quite good because uh, it's uh, broken down and it's actually pretty dry. So this is actually what we want. Now it's still very hot. So now we need to leave it a little while and try to mash this uh, before we add the tapioca flour or tapioca starch. It's also a good idea to season this with a little bit of salt but we don't want this to be salty at all because the salt should come from the condiments that we fry it in just a tiny little bit of salt that will be fine Okay, we'll just uh, try to mash this yam bean up as uh, best as we can We ideally don't want to have any lumps When it's sufficiently cooled down, in here it's uh, still a bit hot, we can add our tapioca starch, tapioca flour. We will add just enough to make into a soft dough. We don't want to have too much of uh, starch in here, uh, then it will be actually very hard. It should come together to form a soft dough and if we feel that it's a bit wet we will add more tapioca starch so we will work this thing through just remember that we cannot should not add any water into this So I'll work through the dough and then I'll come back once it's done. So our yam dough is ready. You can see it's uh, become a fairly smooth dough and soft dough. Um, using extra tapioca starch just to help form the basket seeds. So what we'll do is we will make an uh, elong elongated uh, form of dough and then we'll plug uh, small portions uh, about just about uh, a little bit larger than a marble. All right. Now it's uh, probably easy to uh, pluck all of it before we roll it. It doesn't matter uh, if they're all uh, not the same size.
Alright, so we've uh, plucked up all the uh, dough. We'll just dust our fingers a little bit and we will roll it into a, a, a sphere or a ball. And what we'll do is we'll use two fingers and depress between two ends. Can you see? Almost like an abacus seeds. Again, just depress it. It doesn't matter if it's cracked because we're going to boil this. Now, there's of course a reason why this is done this way. I mean, besides tradition, um, once we depress the center, it is actually easier to cook compared to a whole ball. So that uh, is the functional purpose of uh, this uh, particular form. So now we want to cook our abasca seeds. I have a pot of water uh, which we will bring to a boil. We need the water to be boiling. We will add a pinch of salt to the water. Now once that's done, we will basically put in our abasca seeds. Um, this basically is yam and tapioca starch. When it gets cook during the boiling, it will float to the surface and that's how we know uh, when it's done. So let's just uh, put in the abasca seeds right now. Remember the water has to be boiling. If not, the flour will just dissolve into the water. There we go. So we need the water to start boiling. Uh, we'll try our best not to stir it because uh, we might break the dough up. So we'll just wait for it to start boiling and you will see that the dough will start or the abascal seeds will start rising to the top as it cooks. Now as the water comes to start to a boil, we'll slowly try to loosen some of this so it can let or release as it cooks. Just be gentle. So as you can see, some of the abasca seeds are starting to flow. We still need to be fairly gentle as we move them around. And we'll try to like separate those that are clumped together. Right, so when we see like it's plumped up and everything is floating, we will turn off the flame, drain the water as dry as we can and add some oil to the abascus cooked seeds so that they do not stick together. So I'm going to drain and then come back. So I've now drained the water. Uh, this is still pretty soft and fairly sticky. So I'm going to add some vegetable oil to this just to coat maybe like two tablespoons or so. So right now I'm just going to give it a fairly gentle stir so that I can have the oil coat the backer seeds. Now it's a good idea now to then turn out the uh, I've still got some extra water that I need to get rid of. It's now a good idea to turn out the abacus seeds to uh, a plate so that it can thoroughly dry up. So we can just try to uh, separate them all. Yeah, this is good now. We'll just uh, hold on to this um, and we will start up the wok to fry up the other ingredients before we add the uh, baker seeds inside um, to actually make the dish. I'll come back to that. So now we are ready to fry our abasca seeds and the condiments are already chopped up. 
Now we are ready to fry our basket seeds. Now I have taken my wok. We'll heat up the wok. First thing we're going to do is to add about 2 or 3 tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. Once the oil is heated up, we'll put in our chopped dried shrimp. And we'll fry until it becomes fragrant. So once our shrimp is fried, we'll add in the onions, garlic, ginger and the carrots, all of it. So at this point of time, we'll add in our black mushrooms, or in this case, I'm using wood's ear fungus. We'll give it a good fry until it's cooked. We'll fry this for a few minutes and we'll come back to it. So we've been frying the condiments for a little while now. We'll now add in our abasco seeds. So our basket seeds has been cooking for a little while. So towards the end, we just want to add a small splash of water just to liven up everything. So now it's time to just season this thing with a little bit of salt. Remember that the uh, dried shrimp is already salty. And a bit of pepper. Give it a good stir. And we are ready to serve us. Okay, we can now turn off the heat and we'll serve it. So there we have it. This is Chinese abasco seeds and we'll sprinkle some spring onion as well as some fried shallots on top and that's ready to be served. Enjoy!